Hello everyone, welcome. This is Carlotta here from Bali, beautiful Bali. Today is not so sunny, but still beautiful. I'm here to offer you a practice uh, with Dharma Bands and I'm going to guide you into a flow that is more into an energetic experience. So we want to really feel the expanding energy of our heart. So let's start right into child pose. So please come into your Balasana. You can bring your toes touching and just stretch your torso forward and arms to the front of your mat. Allow the forehead as well to come into the floor. Just begin here, taking a couple of breaths. Try to even extend in your fingers long so it feels like you're lengthening already into the sides of your torso. Just take a couple of more breaths here. And just feeling yourself even grounding before you're rising up into this practice. like even maybe popping on your fingertips so you feel like you're creating more space also right into the shoulders into the chest area and then rising up onto your hands and knees into an all four position so finding your cat cow just make sure your wrists are right below your shoulders, your knees underneath the hips. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. On the exhale, draw the navel in, push the floor away. And then again, inhale, opening up the chest, look up. And on the exhale, drawing in the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. On the exhale, just trying to fold. Inhale, so flat back, tucking the toes under. Go right into your first downward facing dog. And then just take a moment here. Really feel free to move it around, bending one E at a time, shaking out the energy down into the legs. And as you start bearing weight into your arms, really start feeling this down dog position becoming stronger. Few more deep breath, feeling your all five knuckles really pressing into the ground. And then walk your hands all the way back now into a forward fold at the end of the mat. Just grab and hold of your opposite elbows. And just feeling the spine long. If it's too intense, this for you at the beginning, please always remember to bend the knees. Relax the head down. Then interlace your fingers right behind the back. And then on your next inhaling, stretching the arms up and over. On the exhale, you may be folding yourself deep down. And Ian already feeling Space into your heart coming, feeling that you're strengthening your arms as well by really stretching those arms up and overhead. And release the hands back into the ground. Inhale, please find a flat back. Reach the sternum long and exhaling right into your downward facing dog. Just take a couple of more deep breaths. You may enjoy actually into this down dog to have the space between your hands and feet a little bit more wider so that it focus instead of the legs it focus more into the upper spine then bring your feet together inhaling lifting the right leg up to the sky and please opening up the hip and in the knees and stretch grounding the left heel as you exhale and try to relax the head down as and step the right foot all the way forward in between your hands. And then on your next inhaling, coming all the way up into high lunge. The palms are facing to one another. Taking your hands together into your heart center. Bring your palms forward and back. So the palms are facing up, your palms are reaching back. You're feeling the space in 
into your heart. Hands to your heart center, hands to the floor, downward facing dog on the exhale. Inhale, lifting the left leg up to the sky, opening up the hip first, bending the knees and stretch, feeling the right heel grounded. Exhaling, stepping the left foot forward. Inhaling, rising up into high lunge. Classic high lunge where your palms are facing one another. Then you take your hands to your heart center. Reach your palms forward and then back, feeling your heart open. Hands back to your heart center. Hands to the floor. This time, find your plank. Inhale. On the exhale, and find your chaturanga. Come and go all the way down to the floor. Hands close to the ribs for Bhujangasana Cobra. Inhaling, lifting up through the chest. Exhaling, lower. Inhale again, up, Cobra. Exhaling, gently lower. And then again, inhale, lift up the chest from this cobra, tucking the toes under from here, pull the navel in and find your downward facing dog on the exhale. And take a couple of breaths here. Continue to feel the expand in this chest, sit to down dog, feel the tailbone lengthen up to the sky. And as you look ahead, if the heels, bend your knees, then take a little step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale there to a flat back, down and fold on the exhale. Inhale, we reach the arms all the way up to the sky and back to the center, Samasthiti. Inhale, heel crease, reach the arms up towards the sky, look up. On the exhale, down and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, to open the chest, exhale, place the palms, step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhaling, come into upward facing dog, look up. Exhaling, into the downward facing dog. Couple of breath here. And then bring your feet together. Look ahead, lift the heel step or jump now to the front of your mat. Inhale that, down and fold. Exhale. Inhale. Reach the arms all the way up towards the sky, look up, and hands to your heart center. Again, inhale, reaching the arms up, exhaling, folding down, Uttanasana. Inhale to open, exhaling, step or jump back, Chaturanga. Inhaling, come into upward facing dog, exhaling into downward facing dog. And just find your ujjayi breath increasing your heart rhythm is increasing as well feet together look ahead lift the heels step or jump forward inhale that down and fold exhale inhale reach the arms all the way up towards the sky look up and hands to your heart center now as you inhale try to reach the heels up also and as you exhale, and simultaneously fold, drop the heel, hands to the heart. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale into upward dog. Exhale into downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Inhale, open the right arms up to the sky to a twist. And stay here, feeling the heart opening. Exaggerate it even more to twist. Right hands come to the floor, left knee to the floor. Inhale, reaching the arms up towards the sky, Anjaneyasana. Feeling the hips going down and forward as your upper body try to move back. Good, hands back to the floor. Turn the back heel down, like if you're going to warrior two. Stay low with your upper body. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale. Exhaling down inside of your right knee. Humble warrior. 
Your hands to the groin, ground the outer edge of your back foot. Your right hand now is gonna go outside of your right foot to stretch the left arms up and over half side angle. Feeling your lean back. Left hands come down, step back, downward facing dog on the X. Stepping the left foot forward, coming to a twist. Left arms up to the sky. Expand deeper into that knee to find a little deeper twist. Left hands come down, right knee to the floor. Inhale to reach the arms up towards the sky. Anjana Yasana. Just feeling the hips going down and forward as you open the toes back. Hands down. Turn the back heels down like if you're coming to warrior two. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale. And on the exhaling down, humble warrior. Fold inside of your left in the left knee away from the left shoulder. Left hands go down outside of your left foot and taking the right arms up and over. Extend and side angle. Right hands come down. Inhale to plank now. As you exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Few breath here. Inhale, now the right leg up to the sky. Step your right foot forward. Turn in the back heel down, and then extend in the right left. Go right into triangle from the ground. So just stay with the right hand outside of your right heel, and open the left arms up to the sky. Leaning back. Engage into the fingers when they reach up. Left hand come down, just downward facing dog as you exhale. Inhale, your left leg up. Step the left foot forward. Turn the back heel down and from the ground, go right into triangle, reaching the right arm up. And then just use that left hand to the ground if you like to just expand your heart a little bit more. Right hands come back, step back, downward facing dog on the exhale. Few moments here. Inhale, lift the right leg up, step the right foot forward, turn the back heel down. Now coming up into warrior two, second warrior, bending down into the right knee, feeling the arms. As you turn in your right thumbs up, inhale up, reverse the warrior. Bend into the right knee more and lift the right heel up. So try to really get the energy down into the right leg. Exhale, heel down, arms back into warrior two. Inhale here into warrior two. Exhale, leaning forward. Find your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Left leg up, engaging the left foot right away, and try to open the left hips on top of the right. And the left hand come down, square at the hip, and step your feet together. Bend it in through the knees, chair pose, inhale here. Exhale and lift the heels, and take your time to come all the way down into a toe standing. Hands to your heart and then inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, try to turn your torso to the right. Come back to center. Take your hands into your heart center. Hands to the floor. Stay into, stay into that toe standing. Drop the knees down. Sit back into your heels. Taking your arms out to the side 
and taking the right elbows on top of the left. Inhale here, find a little back bend. So find that energy down into the base of your toes. As you release the hands down, try to place the palms into the floor, lift the knees. As your palm stays into the floor, bringing your knees high to the upper armpit. You may just stay into this position and play by shifting forward and back. Or if you feel confident, try to lift one foot and the other up into Bakasana, Crow Pose. Continuing your chin long forward. You can step now or take your time. Maybe some of you jump in Chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Remember, I might have to do some challenging pose, but it's not like you have to do everything. So I'm giving you the option to stay. So listen to your body and maybe stay. Inhale, lifting the left leg up. Exhale, stepping the left foot forward, turning the back heel down, coming up into warrior two first. Sun is out, it's getting hot. Left thumbs up, inhale, reverse your warrior. As you come to the reverse warrior, bending the knee more and lifting up through the left heel. And then just feeding the energy into the toes. As you exhale, back into warrior two. Shifting forward, right into Ardha Chandrasana. As you go right into Ardha Chandrasana, remember to really engage your right leg, your right foot up into the air. Right hands come down so you can square the hips and then bring your feet together. Bend your knees, inhale, rising up to chair pose. Lift the heels and coming all the way up, down, sorry. Two toes standing. Here, inhale, first reach the arms up. Exhaling, twist into the left. In the knees must be together, strong. Coming back to center. Take your hands to the floor too, so you can drop the knees. Seat on your heels so the toes stay tucked under. Left heart now goes on top of the right. Find a little back. You inhale and lift the elbows up and back. And really feel that pressure down into your toes. Release the hands down, palms flat into the mat. You lift the knees up so you're ready to this position. Spread the energy of your fingers. You can just stay here, try to raise the knees a little higher. You may try to shift in forward. Remember your chin and your gaze is forward. You may lift one foot at a time to play or try to lift the two. And then find that really yourself pushing to the floor. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale into up dog. Exhaling downward facing dog. A few breaths. Nice and open. Inhale now, lift the right leg up to the sky, stepping the right foot forward, left knee to the floor, reaching the arms up again, Anjaneyasana, and just feeling the hips so much moving forward that you can move your torso back and open into your heart. Hands go down, extending the right leg into runner's lunge. So as you extend the right leg, flex into your right foot, take an inhale here, and down and fold on the exhale. Bend in the right knee, inhale, place the palms into the floor, Three-legged dog, lifting the right leg up to the sky first. And on the exhale, you're gonna bring the right knee into the center of your mat. The shin stays turned back. The left knee drop right where your toes are. And then inhale into rising up. 
So you're to this kind of position where you really have to balance and engage your banda. Taking again the right elbows on top of the left, inhaling, lifting the elbows up and back. by pushing to the shins, opening the arms into a cactus shape. And then release the hands into the floor, bringing your knees together at the center of your mat. Sit on your shins, hands to your heart center. As you push into the shins, inhale, reaching the arms up. Elbow lengthen down. See if you can release your upper body back and taking one hand into your right heel and the other hand into the left heel, opening to your heart. Elbow down. Let's take a couple of deep more breaths. If you enjoy opening to the throat, remember the head is the last thing. Lead with your heart as you come back. Seating. hands forward, step into downward facing dog as you exhale. Inhale the left leg right, stepping the left foot forward right into the floor, inhaling, reaching the arms up, Anjaneyasana. And then again, feeling your hips forward, lengthen the torso back and long. Runner's lunge, extending through the left leg. Inhale here, down and fold on your exhalation. Flex your left toes so the toes stay pointing up. You feel more opening into the hamstring. Bend in the left knee, place the palms, three-legged dog, inhaling, floating the left leg up to the sky first. And then bring your left knee to the center of your mat. The shin stays back. Bring the right knee to the ground, right in line with your left toes. Inhaling to rising up. Taking the left arms on top of the right. And on your next inhaling, again, lift the elbows up. Oi! Open the arms into a cactus, feel in the heart space, tailbone long, good, hands to the floor, bring your knees together again, sit down with your knees a little bit separate, excuse me, take your hands to your heart center, as you inhale, push into the shins, reach the arms up, you may just stay here or taking the right hand back into the right heel, Left hands back into the left heel. Open into camel, feeling the frill. Remember the, the head is the last thing, so lead with your heart to come all the way back. Bring your hands forward, taking your time downward facing dog as you exhale. I'm just feeling that folding sensation. Mm. Walking your hands now again all the way to the back. Separate your feet, hip distance apart if they're not already. Grab and hold of your big toes, Parangushtasana. Inhale, lengthen up the spine, exhaling, fold in. And Maybe the weight of your body shifting slightly more forward. Lifting your knees up, body sits up, and lengthen the torso long. If you like, release the toes, grabbing your ankle or calf muscle to pull yourself deeper. Inhale now to lengthen, separate your feet a little wider and exhaling, 
coming all the way down into a yogi squat, malasana, bringing the elbows inside of your knees. Just take a moment here, pushing the knees away with your elbows as you lift up to the crown of your head. and extend the legs again into a forward fold, bringing your feet parallel, releasing the head down. Inhale to lengthen. Walk your hands back into down dog, but let's take a little shorter downward facing dog. Let's walk our feet to the outer edge of your mat. Come into a twist dog, so the left hand is going to go outside of your right outer shin or ankle. It's very important to twist and rotate after such a opening of your heart, the back bending, that's how we call it in yoga. So to neutralize the spine, it's really important to kind of twist, bring everything back into the center. Then change left hand down, right hand to the left, other ankle or shin, you can twist to the left, bend the right elbows if you like to go a little bit deeper into that rotation. back to center please take your classic downward facing dog and then from your downward facing dog step your right foot forward stepping the left foot in a bit closer for pyramid pose imagine all your ten toes facing the front of your mat inhale there and on the exhale bow and fold maybe able to reach the forehead to the shin start to have the right hips back in and feeding into that stretch happening. So if the right leg is too intense, you can bend the right knee a little bit. And just make sure the back leg stays straight. Round into the left heel. And keep length in the sternum long. Even if it doesn't feel like it's so far, and it's like you're not going anywhere, you are going everywhere. So just take a couple of more deep breaths. Inhale here, exhaling, place the palms downward facing dog. We do it on the other side, so we're going to step the left foot forward. Bring the right foot a bit closer, Parsh Rottanasana. Inhale to lengthen, exhaling, folding a bit. You may notice that one side is completely different of the other one. deep long breath here try to lengthen along the spine and then back into your downward facing dog exhale taking your feet together bring your knees to the floor top of the feet to the floor take a moment down into child pose and bring the arms back and along the sides of your shin stressing the elbows down If you like, join me into dolphin, placing the forearms into the floor, interlace all of your fingers, tucking the toes under, and push yourself up just like if you're doing a downward facing dog, just to feel a little bit more of strengthening to the upper body. Just take a couple of breaths here where you feel like your chest is opening. Then if you look in the video, I want you to come forward like your shoulders goes on top of your elbows. Then push up, so don't collapse, push up. And then think of leaning forward, opening to the chest. Place the crown of your head into the floor. And then you may just stay here 
walking the feet in for those who have more of a practice and see if you can invert yourself into Sarshasana just to get your spine inverted. Spread into your toes. Just a couple of breath here. It's really nice to end with an inversion where you can really change the perspective and then find actually a very positive energy through these poses. You may also, you know, using the wall. Taking your time to come back as slow as possible and maybe with the same control. And back into child pose. If I'm saying to child pose, I'm gonna give you a couple of more minutes, maybe if you want to play into a wall space you feel more safe even if you have someone on that is practicing with you you can help each other those who are resting really bringing the forehead and the nose into the ground Please taking your time, everyone, to come up to sit. Simply extending the legs straight out in front of you. And then pull that left foot in first for Janus or Shasana. Have to knee pose, inhaling the arms up. And on the exhale, folding down, bringing the forehead to the knee or to the shin to be longer. goes in, inhaling the arms up, but you know, exhaling down into your fold. Inhale into rising up again. Extend your two legs. Inhale in the arms up. And down into your Paschimottanasana. Fold, exhale. If you're able to grab your feet, go for it. Relaxing the head. Just taking the time here. Stay long into the spine after we've been kind of going all the way into the other direction for the whole practice. It's really important to take this moment here. sacrum lengthening down and so you flatten your low back into the floor into the mat and take your time to relax and show us to extending out your legs give yourself a moment here really surrendering relaxing to your whole body
back into the seated position. And as you sit up nice and tall, just take a moment with your eyes closed. And just inhaling and exhaling through your nostrils. Feel the benefits of the smoothing energy around your chest area, around your toes, around your feet around your arms, your whole body spinning around in energy. And we can take our hands into the heart center. You can open your eyes. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining this practice. Thank you also, all your uh, beautiful and shining comments. And so I'll see you again next week.